What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you comment anything in the comment section. Enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. GreenlightDFS.com to join the squad. We have been smashing back to back smashing nights. Let's keep it going. Let's start this weekend off with a bang this Friday with a big one. All right. Now, as you can see on the screen, I am on the Greenlight DFS Optimizer that you can find at GreenlightDFS.com. And I have the high five plugged in and we're going to go through and talk about why and blah, blah, blah. Now, starting off at point guard, Aaron Holiday. Now, I'm going to talk about Aaron Holiday and Miles Turner because both of them are on the same team and they're both in the high five. Miles Turner is only 4'9". Okay, they're missing Malcolm Brogdon, which isn't a huge bump to Miles Turner, but offensively, some people have got to step up, and one of those guys is going to be Aaron Holiday at 4-5. I love Aaron Holiday at 4-5 in this matchup against Golden State. He's most likely in every lineup, all right? Miles Turner, it's just a price discrepancy. 4-9 is a little cheap. I know the dude hasn't been amazing, but 4-9 is just too cheap against Golden State, who struggles against bigs, Okay. Point, period. Both of these guys are priced too low for the situation. Aaron Holiday, no Malcolm Brogdon today. Miles Turner priced way too low. I also do like Sabonis. I do like Jeremy Lamb. There's multiple Pacers that I like in this matchup today. But Aaron Holiday and Miles Turner are the main ones I'm going to due to price and situation. All right, next up, James Harden. Normally, I don't put a stud in. But the way I see it is the James Harden game is coming. All right. The last four games in a row, Westbrook has been vintage Westbrook, dropping 65s or more. He is dominant, dominating right now. All right, what does that tell me? That tells me that soon it'll sway back over to the other side, and James Harden is going to have that monster game. I would not be surprised to see one of those 70 plus to 80 type of performances coming up soon. And against Minnesota, it is an amazing situation to do so. Vegas has this game staying fairly close and one of the highest totals on the entire slate, if not the highest. I have to I'd have to recheck, but I think Houston is the highest. But this game is supposed to stay close, especially with Towns back from Minnesota. They're expecting it, and it being in Minnesota, they think this game stays close. And I do think James Harden is going to have his game here soon. And I'm predicting that today is James Harden day. And at 11-1, you're getting him cheaper than normally you get him, okay? I mean, Westbrook has risen to, what, 700 less than Harden? I'll take Harden at 700 more than Westbrook, no matter. I know Westbrook's been dominating, but it is going to sway back over to Harden soon, and I'm predicting that it's this game right here that stays close and in Minnesota. Next up, running Harden back, Andrew Wiggins. All right, now here's the way I see it. Shabazz Napier is going to be dealing with Westbrook, who's a bit of a tough defender, okay? Carl Anthony Towns is going to be dealing down low with Clint Capella. What does that leave? That leaves Andrew Wiggins with a fairly light matchup against James Harden, most likely. So I really like Andrew Wiggins. I think he's going to dominate here at 7K. Harden is good with getting steals and stuff like that, but somebody's going to have to really step up for Minnesota. I do think Towns is going to have a good game. I do think Napier is going to have a respectable game. I think Wiggins is going to have a very solid game here. All right, um, He's been playing very well the last three games. Wiggins at 7K. We need 35 for 5X, which is bare minimum of what we want here in this matchup. I think he gets a 40 or more running back, James Harden. Um, but there's multiple ways you could go at that 7K range, though. Okay? But Andrew Wiggins is the guy that I'm going to stick with right now. And then last but not least, Chris Paul at 7-4 is going against my Atlanta Hawks. You guys know me. I love picking on the Atlanta Hawks with anything I possibly can. It's going to be about getting the right OKC player, all right? Because a lot of times I'll be like, man, Chris Paul's got, the, uh, got an amazing matchup. I got to go with him. You go with him, and then it ends up being Alexander who goes for a triple-double or a double-double, whatever the hell, and goes off. You know what I mean? Or Steven Adams comes back from this injury he's been dealing with and he goes off, goes crazy. Or Dennis Schroeder goes crazy. They have a fairly deep team when it comes to guards, but Chris Paul is in a great situation here at 7-4. He's got solid, even though he's old, he is a solid-ish defender. They're going to want to play him as many minutes as they can against Trey Young to try to limit Trey as much as they possibly can, but Trey is just a beast. So it's not going to, I'm not saying Paul, Chris Paul is going to lock him down. And I'm not, I'm not saying either way. I'm not saying Chris Paul's a lockdown defender anymore because he is old, but he has been known to be a pesky defender 
throughout his entire career, and he's still fair. He's still okay. All right. But Chris Paul is 7-4. I think he's got crazy upside here, playing a good amount of minutes against Trey Young defense, who really does not play defense, is, is offensive-minded. All right, and that's it. We got Aaron Holiday, James Harden, Andrew Wiggins to run Harden back, Miles Turner, and Chris Paul. Um, when it comes to this high five, the main guys that I'm looking at, that my main guys that most likely will be in every lineup is probably Aaron Holiday and Miles Turner. Those are my core guys that I'm really, really, really interested in making sure I get a piece of because their prices are just too cheap with the injuries on their teams. Most likely with the value on the slate, the reasoning why I have James Harden in this high five is because there's a lot of solid value in like the mid 4K range and under. If you can get a, the, the right guys from that range, you'll easily be able to afford James Harden. All right. So you just got to take your time. As you can see, I have Harden in here and I've got some other great players around him and I still have remaining over $5,000 per position. And there's multiple guys under that 5k that are great options today. All right. Good luck, everybody. Greenlightdfs.com. Join the squad. I might go live later. You'll see. I'll just pop up randomly. I'm not going to schedule it or anything, but I might go live and pop up and talk to you guys um, around 2 to 30. All right. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Greenlightdfs.com. I'm out.